everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a part two of my declutter series. I did the first part of my declutter series last week and I did my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter. That video got a crazy amount of views. It's currently over 5K, which is crazy for my small channel. You guys really seem to enjoy that video. So thank you so much. But today we're actually doing part two. And as you can see, I'm going to go through all of my lip products. These are not even all of my lip products. I have a little tray right here at the top. I have some right here, but I wanted to start with this basket. This one is my most used lipstick basket. So I'm going to go through this one first, mainly use like the same ones. I think I have like three lipsticks in my little lipstick bag for work that I use pretty much every single day. It's just so unnecessary for me to have so many. So that is why I really wanted to go through these today and see what I actually have because I have sort of lost the overview myself. So that's what we're doing today. These three lipsticks I'm talking about I think are Vive 90s, Vive Bratz, Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess which is in my project pen and then also the Rare Beauty Bolt lipstick is in that bag as well. I'm going to be keeping that one too because I just got it but those other three are the ones I use the most so those I'm not going to be showing in today's video because I'm for sure going to be keeping them. So I want to start with two things that are still brand new. I have them in like this acrylic drawer right here and these are the Glossier Balm.com and then also the Pat McGrath Elson for Liquidless Liquid Lipsticks. I haven't used both of these, so I'm definitely going to be keeping them. The Pat McGrath I got because Taylor Swift wore it to the VMAs, and she's apparently wearing it in some of her new video clips as well, so definitely want to keep that. I still need to try it out though, and this one is probably going to be really nice for the winter time, so I'm definitely going to be keeping both of these. I'm just going to put them back into the acrylic drawer, and then we'll see what we have in here first. A definite keep is the Vive Lip Dew. This is such a nice, like, lip oil it comes with this huge like applicator it's a bit stained for my lipstick but i really enjoy wearing this this used to be in like my work makeup bag as well i need to put it back because i just love having a lip oil on hand so this one is definitely going to be staying i'm also going to be keeping the tarte maracuja juicy lip lip plump this one is in the shade white peach i just recently bought this on vacation so i definitely want to keep it because i still want to get a lot of use out of it it's just like a really sheer like sort of like pinky lip shade i I'm not the biggest fan of like the plumping lip products, but this one does feel really nice. So I am going to be keeping that. I also have a brand new lip liner. This is from Rare Beauty in the shade Lively. I've only worn this one time, I think. So I definitely want to keep that. It also goes really well with that Tarte lip product. So I am going to be keeping this lip pencil. This is just an empty box. And I think this one is as well. So this can go. This one I am going to get rid of. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. I just never really wear these ColourPop lippy pencils anymore. I usually reach for my Charlotte Tilbury one, so this one is going to go. So these are all the lip liners I currently own. I do have two more. I have Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude in my everyday work makeup bag. So these are just like my extras. First, we have Vive Velvet Sands. I recently just got this and I think it's a beautiful color. It reminds me a little bit of Iconic Nude as well. So I am going to be keeping this. This is really pretty. Yeah, this is a mini Pillow Talk. I just keep this to have like an extra on hand if I ever need it. I do have a different one in my bag, but this is just like a really pretty, like your lips a better color. It's one of my favorite lip liners. I then have this one which is called Hot Gossip and this I really love as well. It's a beautiful sort of like warm brown lip shade and I feel like this goes with so many lipsticks so I am definitely going to be keeping this one as well. I have a bright red which is very unique in my collection. This one is Kiss and Tell also from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just like a bright blue toned red. I have another pillow talk and I think this is the one that used to be my work makeup bag so I need to put that back in here. It did end up in here somehow. And then I have Love Trap which is a bit deeper. This one is a little bit dried out because I lost the cap and I left it without the cap for a bit too long. And now I just have this Colourpop cap on here. And I just noticed my Colourpop cap actually has my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Pencil cap on here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I lost the cap of this. So that's a little sad. It's a beautiful shade that goes with so many lip products. So I think I'm going to keep all of these lip pencils for now. I mean, you can never have too many lip pencils actually. I'm going to declutter this Colourpop lip oil. I, I know Kelly Gouge loved this a lot, so I got this, but it smells really off. I don't know if I just got like an expired one, but it doesn't smell very nice. And it also tastes like a bit chemically. So I'm going to get rid of this because I don't really feel comfortable in actually using this. So I think I'm just going to throw this away. I think I'm also going to get rid of the Ultraviolet SPF Hydrating Lip Balm. 
balm. I got this for the summertime because I didn't have an SPF lip balm anymore. I ended up not wearing it a ton because this tastes really weird. Also, I didn't like it as much as I thought I was going to. And I think if I keep this by next year, the SPF has like decreased a lot in the summertime. So I think I am just going to get rid of this one as well. I have two lipsticks from By Beauty, which is still so sad By Beauty went out of business because these lipsticks are actually really nice. First I have Praline and then I have Sugar Buns. So this one is called Praline and it's actually a bit more pink than I thought it was going to be, but it is a beautiful color. It reminds me a little bit of Pillow Talk, so I am going to be keeping this one. And then this one called Sugar Buns is actually also like more pinky purple than I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I actually thought I ordered like a more brown toned one, but apparently they're quite pink but I do really like both of these I don't wear them a ton but they are nice to have so I am going to be keeping both of these and whenever I wear this like deeper shade in a video I do get compliments on this so that's really nice as well I am going to keep that a recent addition to my collection is the REM Beauty lipstick and I have this in the shade roller skates I think it's really pretty it's a very pretty sort of like nude shade I don't know, it's just so beautiful on the lips. It looks deeper on my hand than it is on the lips, but it is like a beautiful nude shade. And the formula of this is really nice as well. So I am going to be keeping this one too. And how cute does it look in this like little container? I think it's so cute. And then I also have this REM Beauty lip balm. I actually won this at the store in like a claw machine. This is just a clear lip balm, has a little bit of sparkle in there, but it is really nice and moisturizing on the lips. So I think for the winter time, this will be really nice. I'm going to be decluttering this lipstick from Rare Beauty. This is just like a mini that I got for free and I don't really wear it a lot. I do want to get like a full size of this, but in a different shade. So I am going to be decluttering this one. We then have another one of these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. This is like the non-plumping version. This one is in the shade Guava, so it's pretty much clear, but it's just very, very glossy. So I do want to keep this because I think it is really pretty. I then have the Charlotte Silvery Collagen Lip Bath in Refresh Rose. This one is pretty much clear on the lips as well, but it is really nice and it feels really fresh on the lips. So I'm going to be keeping that too. I am going to be decluttering this lip gloss from ColourPop. This is the Luxe Gloss in the shade Wildflower Honey. I never wear these ColourPop lip glosses. And when I do wear them, I usually reach for this one, which is a bit deeper. This one is called Dandelion Honey. So this is like very deep, but on the lips, it's quite sheer and it just gives like a beautiful brownish color to the lips so I feel like this one is just a little bit more special so I am going to keep this one for now and I am going to get rid of the other one and then I'm also going to get rid of this one in this little basket here I'm just going to already show it because this is actually like the same one but in the shade clover honey and this one is pretty much clear I have too many clear lip glosses to justify keeping this one especially since I don't really love the color pop lip gloss formula so this one is going to go as well I then have this makeup by Mario juicy plumping lip serum in the shade Bare Glow and I feel like these used to be so popular but I barely hear about them anymore. I do want to keep it because I do think it's really pretty on the lips. I do need to reach for it a little bit more though but I am going to be keeping that. My most recent addition to my lip collection is probably this Fenty Beauty lip stain. I just got this I think two weeks ago. I'm so late to like the party because these used to be so popular in the summertime but this is such a beautiful lip product. It gives like a beautiful stain on the lips. I feel like the stain doesn't last as long as I thought it was going to be. I feel like I do need to reapply this. It's a little bit different than like a bright red. It's a little bit more orange toned. This one is the shade Zesty Bestie, but I feel like this is such a beautiful lip product that I definitely want to keep. I then have five more of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in here. I think I'm going to keep all of these. I probably shouldn't, but I feel like these were just too expensive to like not keep them. This is actually one of my favorites, so I am definitely going to be keeping this one. It's like a beautiful light pinky nude that I love reaching for. We then have the Duchess. This one is a bit more pinky toned and it's actually really pretty on the lips, so definitely going to be keeping this one as well. Run My Royalty is actually one of my favorites. This used to be in my work a makeup bag for quite a while. I now switch it out because I felt like this was pretty much the only thing I was reaching for. I'm definitely going to be keeping this because this is just a beautiful, beautiful lip color. This one is the Super Sora Lips from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Princess Kiss. I don't love this as much on me as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a beautiful pinky shade and it actually is, but for some reason on my lips, it just looks like a little bit off. I don't know what it is. I do want to keep this and try it out a few more times before I get rid of it but if I don't love it by then I am probably going to get rid of this but for now I'm actually going to be keeping this one. 
I'm going to get rid of this Fresh Sugar Advanced Lip Therapy. This is just like a clear lip balm and I feel like I have so many of those that I cannot justify keeping this one. So this one is going to go. You guys have probably been looking at this sponge and be like, why is this in your lip product drawer? Well, actually I have no idea. So this one is going to move to like my backup drawer. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss in the shade Happy Love. This is more of like a tinted sort of like lip balm type thing. Kind of similar to the Patrick Ta. I actually like the formula of these. They're really like nice and comfortable on the lips and the shade is pretty as well. So I'm going to be keeping this one. And then both of these lip glosses, I am going to be keeping two. This one is the Jewel Lips from Charlotte Tilbury and then this one is from Bite Beauty in the shade Cinnamon. So both of these I need to reach for a bit more though. I actually forgot to show these, but these are from Charlotte Tilbury as well. This one is called Miss Kensington. It's a beautiful light pink shade as well, so I'm going to be keeping this. And then here we have Red Carpet Red. I actually do not own a lot of red lipstick, so I am going to be keeping this. This is a very like blue-toned red. I feel like it is really pretty for like the Christmas time, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Then we have this like little container with lip glosses that I got from Primark sometime. It's really cute, but I do want to get rid of some of these. First thing I'm going to get rid of is this one from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Refresh Rose. I got this in like a little mini set since I have the full size. I'm actually going to be decluttering this one. I'm also going to be decluttering this one in the shade Pillow Talk because I don't use it. These ones I'm going to be keeping, these are the Gold Collagen Lip Bath and then Peachy Plump. These are really pretty as well. They were definitely a little bit dusty from it being on my vanity, but they are really pretty, so I am going to be keeping those. I think this one in the shade Ibiza Night I'm going to be decluttering because it's pretty much like a clear lip gloss with some sparkles in there, which I feel like is kind of similar to my Tarte Guava lip gloss as well. This one from Kylie Cosmetics in Coco Okay, I'm actually going to be keeping because this is really pretty. So this can go back here now. And then we have arrived at like the last section, which are these lip products right here. So first this one in Crystal Happy Kiss, I'm going to be decluttering because again, this is clear and I feel like it's just too similar to the makeup products I have in my collection. So this one is going to go. I'm also going to get rid of this lipstick from Natasha Denona. I've worn it. It is like a beautiful nude shade, but I like barely reach for it. So I think I'm going to be decluttering this one. This one I want to keep. This is from Natasha Denona in the shade Athena. It is a beautiful sort of like cool toned lipstick as well, but it's just a little bit deeper than the previous one I showed. So I feel like this one is a little bit more unique in my collection. We then have this one from Charlotte Tilbury, the shade Famously Pink. I kind of forgot I had this, so I am going to be keeping this one. It's not very unique in my collection, but it is very pretty. Scarlet Spell from Charlotte Tilbury is actually one of my favorites as well. I feel like it's such a unique color. It's sort of like a purple toned red and it's just super pretty. So whenever I wear this, I just feel like so confident. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. This one in the shade Super Cindy, I actually forgot I had as well. I think I really liked this color. That is what it looks like. It's really pretty. So I am going to be keeping this one. I'm going to get rid of this like old JK Magic lipstick. It looks a little bit rough, but I have a backup of this. So I'm going to be cluttering this one. And then I can always like take the backup if I end up missing the shade. And then of course we have the iconic Pillow Talk. I am going to be keeping this. It's just really pretty and I need to reach for it a bit more. As you can see, I've barely reached for this. Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Angel Alessandra. I didn't expect to like this actually because I thought it was going to be very like orange toned, but I actually feel like it looks really pretty on the lips. So I am going to be keeping this one. And then lastly, the Fenty Skin Lip Oil, which is actually my favorite lip oil. So definitely going to be keeping this one. And then these are the lip products I'm going to be decluttering. I got rid of 13 lip products, which I feel like is a really nice amount. I definitely did a good job. And even though I still have like so many lip products in my collection, like I said, if I'm not entirely sure about it, I'd rather keep it for a little bit longer because I can always throw it away. And if I throw it away and then regret it, you know, it's just going to be a waste. So this is what I'm going to be decluttering. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what you thought of how I did for this declutter. And also let me know what you think of my lip product collection in general. If you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it. If you gave it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, and thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!